Hey, Dana Poling here, CNE's robotic business developer. We're down the street today at Motoman's North American headquarters in Miamisburg, Ohio, to give you a look at the new HC20 robot. Uh, we've got it outfitted today with the OnRobot VG10 gripper, and we've got a banner SX5 safety scanner attached to this guy to show you a couple features of it. So the HC20 is a pretty impressive machine. It's got 1.7 meters of reach, 20 kilogram payload, IP67, and comes standard with food grade grease. Just like uh, its smaller brother, the HC-10, it has the ability to do hand guiding and has power and force limiting capabilities. And we're going to show you some of that stuff now. One of the key factors that we want to show you here that's, that's not the case only for the HC series, but for all of Motoman's robots with their functional safety unit is the ability to do speed and separation monitoring. And with Banner's safety laser scanner here, it can detect a person that's in a configurable zone and then slow down from its top speed to a uh, collaborative speed of 250 millimeters a second. So right now it's operating at upwards of 1,000 millimeters a second. And as I get closer to it, you'll notice that the scanner has detected me. The robot goes into slow down speed now and we're much more safe than what we were there. So one of the key features of the HC series is its power and force limiting capability. You see that it's active because this green light is on here. So it's detected this collision that it just had with the box. The HC series each have redundant torque sensors in each of the six joints. And it's now since this, our green light is still active, telling us that PFL is enabled. And we have a reset button here that's now illuminated because it detected that collision. So if I remove the object that caused the collision, hit the button to reset it, it'll take back off and resume right where it stopped. The second key feature that the HC series brings us is the ability to do hand guiding. So just like on the HC10, we have buttons here on the wrist of the robot. There's three buttons on the HC20. One is the move button that allows us to take control of the robot's position. There's also a teach button that allows us to, to store that position in our robot's program. And then there's a tool on off button that toggles the state of the, the tool on and off. And if we do a long press on the teach button, it'll also grab that tool's state in our program for the robot. So if I just hold this move button down, take control of it, I can now position the end effector wherever I'd like. 